Hello, beautiful soul. I am Vicki Howie of ChakraBoosters.com, the creator of Chakra Boosters Healing Tattoos. And I want to welcome you to my Chakra Boosters YouTube channel. Yay! I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you found me. Uh, we are small, but we are strong. <laughs> and whether you're a newbie or you're a deep dive chakra geek like me, this is the place to learn more about all the potential within you and not just learn, but actually align with and release these potentials within you. You have seven main chakras and I work with all of them here to allow you to expand into more of your own potential. Your chakras relate to every aspect of your life. Uh, if you don't already know that. And so if you specifically want to work on your finances or on relationships or on your health or your intuition or your vocal expression or your artistry, and I could go on and on and on, right? Well, whatever it is you specifically want to work on, your chakras are the map. They will allow you to work on that from the inside out. Now, the thing that I see happening a lot these days is that people are trying to just open their third eye or just work on their chakras before ever assessing. Your current chakras, the state of your chakras right now, you have seven of them, is what tells you is needed. If, for instance, you already have really awakened upper chakras and you go and open your third eye some more, that's actually a negative. That's actually working against you. And I've seen lots of people do this. So the first thing you want to do is assess. So I have left the only good online test link that I think exists below. Okay. There's only one good online test and they don't market anything to you. They don't sell you anything <laughs> there. It's in about seven languages. It's at eclecticenergies.com. And of course I'm not affiliate affiliated because they don't sell anything. And lots of tests out there are marketing tools. They're just trying to get your email. So if you're not asked at least 40 questions, typically it's just not enough. This one asks a lot of questions, but they're really fast. And I have found it to be extremely accurate as long as you're honest, as long as you're really coming from uh, a healthy throat chakra. Now, in order to make sure that those test results are really embodied and you're really following uh, the truth in your answers, you can also look at my videos on the signs for a weak, weak chakra or the signs for an overactive chakra. And I do that for all seven chakras in both playlists. So watch those and take the test and assess your chakras. And then after you assess your chakras, you'll really know what you want to work on. You wouldn't go to the doctor and just say, you know, I'm thinking that I would like to have heart surgery. <laughs> you just wouldn't. You wouldn't say, I'm thinking I need medicine for cholesterol or whatever. You would get an assessment from the doctor. Energy work is just as real. We need to assess it first. We all have a different energy profile. So first thing is assess right? The second thing is to love yourself through the process. After you've assessed, it isn't like a test you take in college or something where you get a grade. This isn't about that. This is just in your life. You may have had trauma along the way. We all have it in different forms or another that causes us to shut down different areas of our body. And it could be tiny trauma or large trauma. I had a chronic root chakra issue. And I ended up getting a root chakra tattoo when I learned of Masaru Emoto's work uh, that, that words, symbols on water, and I'm water, you're water, we're 55 to 70% water, uh, words on water could change the, the, the vibration, could actually change the underlying structure of that water. So I actually got a root chakra tattoo and it changed my whole life. And that's really when I began this whole Chakra Boosters channel and journey. So I also recommend that you find out about my Chakra Boosters healing tattoos. They're a beautiful and simple way to work with embodied chakra healing. And they are now in, I want to say 57 countries. My last count might be one or two more. And 150 
thousand plus have gone out into the world to happy customers. So it's not a quirky thing. <laughs> Lots of people love them just like me. And I made them for you because they work for me and I still wear the root chakra tattoo. Why? Because even though my root chakra is now pretty strong, I'm stronger in my upper chakras. So as I continue to expand upwardly, I want to make sure I'm grounding. So roots, most of the time I only wear root. Once in a while I get uh, a neck thing going on and I'll wear the throat chakra because it helps, it just within a couple hours the pain goes away for me. That's That's what happens for me. So I recommend you could go directly to those Here's the key though, make sure that when you do your assessment, you are really loving yourself, okay? That's all I'm trying to say because this isn't a test like something you study for. This is a test of where your body energy has shut down and wherever it has shut down, it's because someone in your past uh, in the social environment, probably your caregivers made it wrong or sometimes say there's several louder people in a family so a, a newer child will get quieter in the throat chakra or you know you're, you were either asked to play a role in your family or say you lost somebody or parents divorced. There's so many different things that can happen and as that happens when we're growing up, we have a tendency then to close down certain parts of ourselves and that will close a particular chakra. And now you can open it back up and you can do so playfully and you can do so with great love and great compassion. And even just watching any of my videos here on the channel, you'll notice that when I do a particular chakra video to heal a particular chakra, I will do it in the energy of that chakra. So a root chakra video will be different than a heart chakra video or a solar plexus. You'll notice my energy amp up a bit in the solar plexus videos. So the first thing you want to do is assess. The second thing you want to do is really love your assessment, love yourself, and then discover your biggest chakra weakness. It's almost like you have seven children and which child needs the most attention? Then I recommend that you go to one of my uh, playlists for that chakra. So I have a healing playlist for all seven chakras, and those are below as well too. Check out everything below. I've got freebies for you. I've got all sorts of things below. Watch as many of the videos of you, as you can in that particular chakra playlist. And when you really have done them, and you feel like you've really made a shift, then you can move on and reassess. Always keep reassessing because once we do deep work with chakras, they change. Usually when we just do a quick healing with someone or whatever, it changes back to its old way, its old habit. But if you're doing work on this channel and you work with my playlist and you keep working on a particular chakra, then you're creating a new normal. Good for you, right? And I hope soon to do some videos on just specifically which areas each chakra changes in your life. You, I, I mentioned this in most of the videos, but I want to do a video specifically on that. So if you're trying to work with your finances, you work on root, right? Relationships, you're going to work on either heart or sacral, depending on whether it's an intimate relationship or more of your like familial or friendship, loving agape relationships. And I can go on and on. Of course, intuitive is the third eye, etc., etc. So, so much possibility here, my friend. So much possibility. I'm glad you found my channel. I hope you'll subscribe because if you subscribe and click the little bell to be notified, then you'll know when new videos come out each week. And I'm creating them for you, so I hope that you do know when they're coming out each week and that you use them. It's all free here at Chakra Boosters. Uh, YouTube channel, and I also have freebies for you at chakraboosters.com, and there's a freebie below for my latest website, circlingspace.com, where we gather together to share more authentic communication and connection. It's the Aquarian Age, guys. It's time for us to expand uh, 
in positivity with our differences, right? Rather than make our differences a problem. Our differences are the gift that we have to give to each other. So that's all for now. There's so much more I could share. Please start exploring. Click on my videos. Click on my playlist. See what's here. There's over 400 videos here. How many can you watch and absorb and enjoy in the weeks, months, maybe even years to come. I also need to share with you, he's napping right now, but I'll cut in a little video of my dog, Bodhi. He's really shaggy right now. He's 20 weeks old, and some of you have been asking about him because you haven't seen him in a few weeks. And he's about to go to a groomer in like a week because he's finished all his shots now. But before he goes to the groomer, I want you to see him in his rock star long hair best. What you got there, Bodie? You got Charlie? Is that Charlie? That's Charlie. Are you wrestling with Charlie? Yes, you are. Funny, he used to be as big as you, but you've grown so much. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Bodhi means enlightened one. He named himself because I dreamt of him before I got him. I dreamt of him years ago. And finally, he's here with me now. And that means he's here with you as well. So I hope he's just bringing more healing to our channel. And hopefully, uh, if he behaves, I'll bring him into more and more videos in the future. Okay, much love and bye for now.